Okay folks, now I'd just like to show you uh, in this video uh, just uh, three simple knots that are general use knots uh, used in fishing. And I mean there are piles and tons and tons of different types of knots tied, but these are the three general ones that are used and uh, they're all uh, uh, very good knots that are pretty well standard for most fishing. So the first knot I want to show you is, um, is called a clinch knot. And the way you do it is you push either through the eye of your hook or a swivel or the lure you're tying on, it doesn't really matter. I'm using hooks in this case just to, for demonstration sakes, okay? Your line goes through the eye, pull it through, don't be too cheap, don't use too short a leader, don't worry about your line. You make it too small, it's very hard to tie on. Give yourself about two or three inches like this and then when you're turning it, turn your hook holding the two tight up here the tail and the main line or your main part of your leader usually you do about six to ten turns once you've got it those turns in take the, the end of your tag line and run it back through the bottom loop just above your hook or your lure you're tying on make sure it's very important that you wet every knot before you cinch it up. It is very important, especially when you use monofilament lines, because if you do not do that, you can burn the knot and therefore damage the line. So I usually just wet the knot first, your loops. And then you slowly pull it tight, pull it even and snug, and it will go nice and tight, and you will have a perfect knot. Trim off your tag end nice and short, probably about an eighth of an inch and that is your clinch knot. Okay our next knot we're going to tie is called a uni knot. I'm sure there are other names for it but I call it the uni knot and that's the way I've always been taught. So this uni knot is the same thing you run the eye through the hook make sure you give yourself about take about five or six inches through pinch it right at the eye the tag end and the main leader. Now you make with the tag end you make about a one inch circle. Now you've got them pinched together. You've got the tag end and the circle. Now you take the tag end and run it through the loop back up the line three to five turns. So you're actually wrapping the bottom line part of the loop and your main leader. Once you've done that, you pull the tag end and the main leader slowly and it will tighten up on the line. Once you have that, again, make sure you wet the leader and the knot, then holding the lure or the swivel or the hook you're tying to, just pull on the main part of the leader and it will tighten up into a very good knot. And again now, once you've done that, you want to trim your tag end off, and with this knot, there's virtually no slippage at all, so you can tag cut it very short right down to a sixteenth of an inch if so desired. Uh, actually this knot is a very good is a very good knot uh, not only for monofilament but also for braided lines. Braided lines being much slipperier tend to slip when you tie knots in them and this knot will not slip even with braided lines. Okay folks the third knot I'm going to show you is what they've called it's commonly called a bait loop. Okay and it is used mainly when you're tying you want to tie to the shank of your hook either just from a little bit more strength or if you're going to use bait on your hook and what you do is you run the line through the eye of the hook take it out about six inches come back making a loop now at the back of the hook you will pinch the back of your loop and your line through the eye and you'll have a tag end sticking out just past the bend of a hook probably three quarters of an inch once you have that, grasp the line with the four fingers of your other hand and you wrap it back towards you, backhand style, piling the loops onto the shank of the hook, keeping everything tight so nothing slips. And usually we do five to eight loops. Once you have them there like that, you pinch it all on the loops so nothing slips. You pull the main line through the eye Till it's tight, pull the tag end to the top till it's tight. And that way it is fairly snug on your shank. You can make it as tight as you want. I usually make it just snug 
so that it still can be moved if you have to move it. You can move it up the shank of your hook and then you can push out a loop like that in which to put whatever kind of bait you're using in there. Possibly some shrimp or maybe a roe or, uh, or other kinds of bait. In any event, whether you're going to use it for bait or just use it for a knot to use on, on uh, your hooks, you can, and you can also cinch the knot by sliding it right up to the eye and pulling it snug. Once you've made that decision, you just simply cut it off very short again. For more information folks on freshwater fishing in BC, please just go to www.gofishbc.com.